Hi guys, so I know my hair looks kind of crazy considering that it hasn't been this red in a long time, but I officially dyed my hair um, back red and also all it has in is leave-in conditioner and a defining cream. So there's like no edge controls. This is out here a mess. So right now I am currently studying for boards while I'm doing laundry. So fun fact, when I moved, all of my stuff is still in New York. So I am at the laundromat. I have not been to a laundromat in a very long time. <laughs> we gotta have clean clothes, okay? And basically all it is is workout clothes and loungewear. Awesome job, that's my great job, Jennifer. Thanks guys. Thank you, Thank you so much. You did a terrific job. We get to after she got on her story, but the family called and said, I believe something's wrong with mama. I said, Mama, what's wrong with you? Mama, what's wrong with you? Mama, what's wrong with you? Mama, So really quickly, this is what it looks like once I got everything kind of situated. So I'll actually leave this up all night um, and then, you know, constantly look at it, read it, reread it. And um, then tomorrow I'll take all of this off and try to rewrite it without looking. I do take a picture of it and leave it in my phone. So um, I have another orientation day tomorrow. So. We'll see how far we get. And then, so now I'm just gonna move on to how to grade murmurs, which I already know how to grade murmurs. And then we're gonna go to, I guess cardiac arrhythmias, which I'm pretty, I'm pretty good with those. So I'm not really too worried about that. I literally deal with that every day. And yeah. So I'm gonna look over some of this stuff. Okay, so then I'm just gonna look over the grading system of murmurs, which I already, I have that down. Um, cardiac arrhythmias, as you see, nothing is highlighted on this page because honestly, I deal with arrhythmias every day, uh, like at work. So that stuff, I don't have an issue with. Uh, the hypertension stuff, not an issue with that as well. Um, if, these are super important, the JNC hypertension goals by race because they are based by race. So there's like a little mnemonic, not, mm, there's a mnemonic that someone tried to teach me like white and something, black and something, I don't know. I can't remember, so whatever. And then what is all of this? DVTs and stuff, Raynaud's, I know all that stuff. Hyperlipidemia, I know all that. So this is just stuff that I'm gonna re-look over. And then, boom. We're going to pulmonary. So, I just did that first practice test. First of all, everybody, first of all, everybody decides to call me when I want to do a practice test. But there was just a lot of stuff that I didn't know. And I was just like, I don't fucking know. And I was able to like break it down to two possible answers. And then sometimes I will go with the wrong answer. Sometimes I'll have the right answer and then I'll switch it. So I know there's a lot of stuff that I have to work on. So I'm going to go through and read all of the rationales of the ones that I got wrong. It's like a lot of like select all that applies. Put these in order. Which I don't think the test is going to be like that. But I'd rather just practice just in case. Because I really don't know what is going to be on the test. 
So I'm gonna go through, highlight all the right answers, read some of the rationales, and I'm gonna take part two. Hopefully I can get part two done within an hour. Practice test is part two, because then I need to work out. And then like I said, this afternoon, I am going to do the predictor test. So it's just test day. That's, that's it's pre-test day, let's put it that way. Today is pre-test day. So I would rather see all the stuff that I don't know now than to think that I know a lot of stuff going into the test and not knowing anything. So that's where we are right now. And yeah, there we go. So I'm just walking outside. We have this little trail. It's kind of raggedy, but it works. Um, just to get some fresh air, move my body a little bit from being standing still. Get some exercise in, guys. I log in to take my predictor test. I didn't take it last night. The second practice test that I did last night, I did decent on it. Um, according to the statistics, I would have passed. Um, but sis, it was like <laughs> barely. Um, so I'm going to do my predictor test now. And then we have the next two days to study and cover some of the stuff that I don't know. Um, or that the predictor test tell me I don't know. I'm actually going to wear this mask. This is not the mask that I'm going to wear. Um, I'm just going to wear a regular smegular mask. Y'all don't mind my hair. <laughs> this is real deal. Steady grind mode. We're not cute. We're not cute. Okay. This is the process. It's an ugly process. Um, so I'm going to wear this while I take it just so I can prepare. I can practice breathing my own breath. I know it sounds really weird, but I really hate masks. I really hate wearing masks. And the fact that I got to wear it to take this test blows me. Um, so I'm going to practice wearing this mask, but I have a new fresh mask and um, not a cloth mask um, that I'm going to wear <clears throat> and not a cloth mask that I'm going to wear. So yeah, we're just going to take the predictor test and I'll check back in and let you guys know how I did and what areas I need to focus guys, on. So today is test day. For some reason, I scheduled my test for 930 in the morning, which for me is early, um, but we're gonna do it. Um, by the time I kind of freaked out, <laughs> I had, it was too late for me to reschedule my test. So we're gonna take it and, um, you know, just keep giving affirmations that we're gonna pass. I'm gonna pass, I can do it. I will pass boards the first time. I will be an F and P. And um, we're gonna hear, we're actually getting there like about 30 minutes early so that way I can first of all make sure I don't get stuck in traffic and um, <clears throat> she looks lost first of all make sure I don't get stuck in traffic and then just go over a couple of my notes before I walk in so yeah you guys pray for me that I pass because I've been praying and studying and praying and studying so um, let's see how this goes I'll see you guys a lot of um, uh, frustration, uh, a lot of throwing things. Um, yeah, just not. Not a good day. I'll update you guys. Probably, if I feel better tomorrow, I'll update you guys and kind of tell you how everything went. But yeah, I failed. I don't like failing. Um, I just, I have so many emotions going on right now, but I've literally cried myself into a headache. Hey guys, so I'm currently at the laundromat <laughs> because my stuff still hasn't come um, and I had this like revelation, right? So today I was supposed to work, but I got canceled because our census is low. One thing that kind of happens here is we get a wave of COVID patients, um, COVID ICU patients, and then um, it slows down and then we get hit again. So, um, when we got hit with a wave of people, I was just working. You guys know I am a part-timer. Um, before I got to Texas, a, I was doing two shifts per week. And then, um, which I was only required to do 36 hours per pay period. So, that's like two shifts one week, one shift the next week. 
Um, but I was doing 48 hours. And then once I got here, I became per diem because I was like, I'm gonna study for boards, yada, yada. And then I'll just keep this per diem job or PRN job, which is only two shifts per month um, while I'm a nurse practitioner. Um, but you guys know I fail boards, so I have just been working. I signed up for a 13 week full-time contract and then I have been also going in extra days. That's like not like me and my husband's like, are you okay? Like, you never work this much. And I don't, I really don't. Um, like I've worked full-time before, but I've never worked full-time and then just started adding days in. And I come to the revelation that I'm doing it to avoid studying for boards so that way I can avoid signing up to retest so that way I can avoid retaking it out of the fear of failure. So that's kind of where I am right now. Um, I told myself today um, after I do laundry, I'm going to go home, edit a video, and then I, for the rest of the day, I'm going to study for boards. Tomorrow, I'm going to study for boards. Um, I'm going to finish up these, today and tomorrow, I'm going to finish up all the courses that allows me to have my um, 15 hours of CEUs in order to reapply. And then I'm just going to start doing study questions, practice questions, practice questions. Um, I'm also going to do um, a practice uh, MP exam tomorrow as well. I've paid for five of them. I haven't taken, no, I'll pay for four of them because I was like, if I give myself a month, then um, I can take one per week to see how I'm doing. And then it can kind of, I can kind of gauge like, am I doing good? Am I not? Am I ready or if I'm not? So, um, but I haven't done any of that. I've, I've done um, practice questions here and there, but honestly, I've just been avoiding it. And the way that I've been avoiding it is I have been working 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 and i'm and so then i'm exhausted and so my reason to not study because my husband be like have you studied and i'm just like oh, i'm just so tired like and i also work tomorrow um and i can't do that i can't that's like me giving up in a way like yeah i'm working hard i'm busting my ass and i love taking care of covid patients as bad as that sounds um but i just can't give up so what I have to do is I have to just deal with the failure. I need to sit down, reevaluate everything, map out a study plan, and um, first finish these CEUs, reapply, get a date, map out a study plan, and just stick to it and stop avoiding it. And I think one of the reasons why is because, so I think it was like a week ago, all the girls in the group text were like, you know, Hey, I finally got my license. Everybody has been offered jobs except one girl, but she lives up closer to Canada. So I don't really know the job market for her area up there, but everyone else that I had, I went to school with and we were like a group, everybody else has a job. And I'm just like, guys, I'm still working in the ICU as a nurse. Yay. So I'm super, super excited for them and happy for them. And at the same time, just disappointed in myself. Like, Jasmine, how have everybody, like, you're the only one that failed, you're the only one that doesn't have a job, you're the only one who doesn't have a license, like, yes, I still have my master's, um, and I'm very, very proud of that, I'm very, very proud of all the accomplishments that I've had, I've done so far, because I've gotten so far in life that I would have never imagined myself here, um, even five years ago, just like I, I've been saying, this is like another bump in the road, this is another hurdle, but I can't let this obstacle stop me and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm letting this obstacle get in the way and I'm acting like there's no way over it. There's no way to overcome it and I can't continue to do that. So first step is acknowledgement. So I'm acknowledging that there was an issue and um, now what we have to do is just figure out a plan and let's see how it goes. I took one of the practice tests and I got a score of 620. So the passing score that you need for boards is a 500. I haven't, um, I didn't take this before I took my first exam. So I don't know how that measures up, but I'm pretty happy with a 620. So, so. Hey guys, so today is Thursday and I am currently going over a 
post-exam review. Um, this is the third test that I have taken um, with this program. And I will share with you guys everything that I'm using in another video, which is why I'm not showing that to you. Y'all, this is literally driving me crazy. I don't know what I did to my computer, but I feel like it's getting worse. I don't know if it's getting worse or if I'm just starting to notice it more, but it is literally driving me freaking insane. Anyways, um, so I did decent on this test. This is one of the harder ones that I've taken. So in order to pass boards, um, you have to pass with a 500. On this one, I got a 507, which means technically I would barely pass. I would pass, but it would be barely passing. So um, I don't know, you guys. I'm just super stressed. One eternity later. Oh my God. You guys, I have to put on my glasses because I can't even focus. It's raining outside. So I took my exam today. I literally have not done anything for the past couple of weeks but study. And I took my fucking exam today, you guys. I cannot even wait to show you guys my reaction but i fucking passed oh my god i passed i passed oh my god like i am fucking shaking so as i was taking the test um as i was taking the test there was some questions like that i just knew there were some repeat questions from um my first test but sis, I am a whole SMP. Oh my gosh. I am like, I can't even, like, I can't even cry, but I worked so fucking hard. You guys, I've studied so much. There were still questions on there that I didn't know. Don't get it twisted. Um, but I honestly have not, what is going on with my glasses? It's a glare. It's raining outside, but I have honestly not filmed youtube videos i have just been working and studying um and in between that trying to do stuff with my family but i have been studying so much and even submitting my test because i started going back over questions which i'll do a complete sit down video for you guys but um i just like i can't believe that i just passed this test like you guys, I worked so hard for this. I studied so hard and so long. And this says pass. Oh my gosh, it says pass. It's this thing. It says pass, you guys. I passed. Like, I haven't even called any of my family yet. I didn't tell anybody that I was taking it. The only people who knew I was taking it today was my husband. I didn't tell my best friend. I didn't tell anybody because I didn't want that pressure of people knowing that I took it today. So... Literally, my husband is the only person who knows. Mom doesn't know. You guys, I pass. 921, your girl is a board certified FMP. What? Thank you, Jesus. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, let me call my husband. Um, Thank you guys so much for rocking with me and dealing with my whole mess of failing boards. I will do a different video, sit down video, um, and tell you guys how I what I did wrong and what I did the right way um, for any of you guys in the future who are taking your exam. Thank you so much for joining me during all of this, but your girl is a whole FMP. Like I am so like, I am shook. Um, and I just want to thank all of you for your sweet words because you guys have been sending me so many sweet comments on Instagram and you didn't even know that I failed the first time. And y'all are like, you got it, claim it, you got it. Don't worry, it's yours and you guys, it is mine. Thank you so much for everything you guys do, how sweet and positive you are. Don't forget to stay boss up and conquer. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as now we finally, finally go on our journey of trying to find our first new grad FMP job. So <laughs> until the next video, I'll talk to all you hens later. Bye. Mwah.